That's only people in Africa do. Um, but from day one, we were very clear as to the role of film and the creation of images of ourselves and identity reinforcement as a contribution to Pan-Africanism and the Pan-African cause. Um, the Bridgetown Film Festival from day one, I thought it was marketing excellent from the very first festival. I thought the name was well chosen, the Bridgetown Film Festival. Who um, take the festival in the Caribbean in Barbados and specifically use the capital as the name. So wherever the festival goes, in terms of reputation, Barbados and Bridgetown will go. Um, and I thought that the focus on Caribbean cinema and local cinema and producing our own cinema rather than having Barbados as a site where people come to uh, produce and we buy we sell services was also the type of emphasis that the Commission for Pan African Affairs would have wanted. And therefore, we supported with our small funds, um, our modest sums, we supported the uh, festival from day one. And we were also always actively lobbying with um, those other agencies within the ministry that we would have found ourselves uh, in under. So, for example, we were under the Prime Minister's office. But at the same time, the National Cultural Foundation culture section were under the Prime Minister's office and we would lobby them from time to time um, to assist with film generally. Um, it would clear yes to anybody that if you're going to if you're going to fight a war which has moved basically in, in terms of the uh, Pan African thinking from physical enslavement to um, mental enslavement and our emphasis now is on emancipation of the mind or what we call in mental decolonization. The most potent weapon today in terms of our uh, knowledge is film. 